Hi guys, I am back in a new video. In today's video, I am gonna show y'all our new version of Admin Abuse Panel version 5. Guys, make sure to not even skip any part. This video will be one of my biggest video. I hope y'all liked it and have a great new year. So like always join my Discord, the link is in description and go to this channel. So get the model link, then drag it over. Okay, so delete these. Then put them in their location after that ungroup, each one of them. As you can see, the scripts don't have any scripts inside them, so this is because Roblox don't allow big scripts as model. So for this, we need to go back to our Discord, then get the paste bin for each one of the scripts, then copy and paste them here. When you open the paste bin, make sure to read the top. Where is the script is going to? In this instance, it's going to server script to copy all of them. There is that button to copy, but if you don't have that button, you can select all and go down. It might take some time, but that is the way. So after that, do the same thing, but with the client one and go back to the Discord. Okay, so done now. What we need to do is make the script know who is the owner to do that. You have to put your username here. Otherwise, the script don't know who is the owner. Okay, after that, the panel should show up and work as you can see. Okay, so now we want to make new events to do that there multiple way. A easy way is that using Lemonade AI, Lemonade AI is an AI that is made for Roblox Studio and it will do all the stuff by himself. So make sure to go use Lemonade AI. The link is in description. I also use Lemonade AI when I need help in something. For example, making this admin panel is massive, so it might have some issue. Using Lemonade, AI will help me fix the issues. To use it, make sure to add the Lemonade plugin to your Roblox Studio, then click the plugin and click Connect. After that, the Lemonade AI will connect to you. Roblox Studio Game. Whatever you tell the AI to do, it will do it for you. Thanks, Lemonade AI, for sponsoring today's video. Okay. So back to the video, so there is also another way to add your own event. This way is using copy and pasting your old events and pasting it like I did. After that, the pasted event, you can rename whatever you want or change any settings of it. For example, you can also change these numbers if you wanted. And now let's test it.
As you can see, our new added event is added, and it also works. And also in this new version, you can start multiple events at once. To do that, right-click, whatever events you want, then click Start Events. Also, there is a new action in this version. The action is Firework. It makes the specific player like Firework. And there is more stuff you can mess with. For example, every event you can change the number, the timer, and more. There is a lot to change if you want to. And also, to add a specific skybox for a specific event, you can do what I did. First, find what skybox you want. Then drag it over and change the name to the one in the script and put it in replicated storage into the event skyboxes folder. And now the events use our skybox, so it worked. Also, to change the timer for the New Year Countdown event, you can go back to Server Script and change the timer. And it worked. And the skyboxes we changed or anything is also changeable for all other events, as you can see. For example, the fog density, you can make it lower or higher. or the firework colors you can change as I did.
And you can see the color green is added. You can do this for other events too. Also, for example, you can change these settings for the black hole event. And thank you so much for watching the video fully. I hope y'all liked it and share it to your friend and subscribe guys. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can become a member. Thank you so much. Have a great new year.